Hi, this is Ghost17, and welcome back to part 2 of Quest for a Double Map. Today we are on the map Underground with the MP7 with a silencer and rapid fire. Um, and I picked up a little bit of flack last time for using the MP7, I'm not saying it was overpowered, and I want to cut, clear this up quickly about overpowered weapons. Uh, the reason I don't consider the MP7 overpowered is it's not strong across all ranges. Unlike the Type 95, which can one burst anyone from close range or far away. It doesn't matter. That's why I consider that gun overpowered. The MP, uh, the FMG9s are just unreal for rate of fire, sprayability, and the Striker, uh, it's not overpowered as a weapon, it's overpowered as a shotgun. Compared to the other shotguns, it's unbelievably strong, and that's why I consider it an overpowered shotgun. And this is my opinion, so I don't take this as gospel, that's the way it is. This is just my opinion on the matter. And the reason I don't consider the MP7 uh, that strong is because it's not that good at close range. Without rapid fire it seems to be quite weak. Um, I kind of feel it's more of an assault rifle than an SMG, or at least it's trying to be. Which is why it's sort of on the verge of being overpowered. If it had a higher rate of fire without rapid fire it would definitely be overpowered. Um, the PP90 M1 is far stronger at close range, as so is the P90, um, and that's why I consider these weapons a bit better at close range. I'm not saying that it's weak at close range, I'm just saying it's not the sort of strongest. Um, but enough about that. Um, that is my view on overpowered weapons. Um, this first streak, I think it was about 2 minutes and 30 MOAB, which I was quite pleased with. Um, it's not the fastest out there, but for my start, it was actually quite quick for me. Um, I don't usually play ground war, which usually re results in me having slightly slower MOABs. Um, and also using the shotguns, it kind of you have to take things a bit slower because you can't rely on the hit detection in this game for one second. Um, but yeah, unfortunately I'm going to ruin it and say I didn't get the double mob. Um, I died on, I got two little streaks and I, I was more more frustrating than the two little streaks that I show. Um, what well, the first streak I died on, which was just purely my fault. I just made an awful decision. You'll see what it is. The kid rushes at me with a heavy machine gun, spraying a door, and for some reason I try and go through the door he's shooting at. I should have flanked round and shot him in the back, and that would have been much, much better, and I'd probably have won the gunfight, and might have even gone on to get the double mower, but, as I say, I always seem to choke. Um, I got this mower very quickly, I think it was in the first sort of 50, 60 points of the game, which, um, I just can't believe I managed to screw it up, I felt like such a burk at the end of this game. Um, and the third streak, I got panic knifed by a kid lying down. Um, you'll see on one of the little things, he was lying down at the, sort of the back of A spawn, you know where you spawn at the back of A under that little sort of hut thing, he was lying there pretty much the whole game, and it was, I couldn't believe it, he, he, I think he went negative as well during the game, which just frustrated me further, um, <laughs> I guess there's nothing you can do with it, he was using dead silence assassin and blind eye on a silenced MSR just lying in his spawn, it's just, uh, anyway, um, I uh, recently bought myself a scuff controller to try and counter this um, as, as I get bullshitted on by another sniper. Um, I, I bought myself a scuff controller because I wanted to, well, I'm not very uh, good with uh, working the claw system, I think it is, to use the knife as well as being able to aim. So I decided to buy myself a scuff to help me out with the sort of panic knifing aspect of it. Um, um, and it's a great controller, but it's a bit weird getting used to it. It's kind of an odd feeling having the buttons underneath. I still go to press B to knife instead of using the lever on the bottom. But I, I, I'm sure I get used to it, and I really would recommend them. They're quite nice. Um, it came quite quickly, and it, it, they are quite expensive, but um, I think they're probably worth it in the long in the long run, excuse me. Um, but yeah, the second thing I want to talk about was the thank yous. Uh, now this uh, is unbelievable. I'm now going to hit 1,000 subscribers, which is incredible. After, what, 40 videos I think I've uploaded now? Um, it, it might seem quite a few, uh, quite a large amount, 40, but I, I don't feel like I've been around very long. I started this in, what, October? And I got a huge boost from when Bread did his best cod players, which I am eternally thankful for. And I actually love that commentary. I've listened to it so many times. I'll go back and listen to it. It's one of my favourite commentaries ever. Mainly probably it was because of bigging me up, and I like to be felt big. Um, that sounds awful as I am quite. I'm not going to get that anyway. Um, <laughs> it, it just it just made me feel sort of uh, special, which is always nice. Um, but yes, uh, other than that, I've got a huge amount of people to thank. There's a lot of people that I can't, uh, I don't know everyone's names who likes my videos and favourites them and everything. Um, and mainly it goes out to you guys, but I'm sure, as you are aware, getting big in YouTube is very difficult. And I have to thank all the bigger people who've helped me out, like the goat who retweets a fair amount of my videos. Um, so I'm very appreciative to that. Thank you, Chris. Um, Richard, who uh, has given me a like on this video, uh, the last video, which is the uh, 
five seven Moab, which got me so many views so quickly, and I am very grateful for him doing that as well. Um, and a fair f fair amount of other people. Oakley always helps me out with a like, and the Palestinian and Man in Black and people like that are always uh, sort of helping me out. I mean, obviously it helps that I'm, I'm friends with these people. That it kind of helps me get those likes. So I mean, I, I never ask for them. And I want to stress that enough. I I wouldn't I wouldn't ever ask for a like. I don't. I, don't, I it sounds wrong. I don't like asking for help. I I do occasionally re ask for a retweet on a video, but I'm not sort of um, very keen on asking for help. It's just not who I am, and I I would I just don't want to ask for those sort of things. So it's very appreciated that they come along and do it on their own. Um, <laughs> that sounds so terrible. They they feel that my videos are good enough to like, and I really appreciate it. So uh, thank you very much to everyone who's liked, favorited commented on my videos it, it means a great deal so a huge thanks to everyone who's helped me out um well yeah another thing i wanted to cover quickly was um please could you come and follow me on twitter and uh, so there's a couple of reasons for this um firstly i like having followers on twitter and i love answering questions and you'll probably notice i used to answer a heck of a lot of questions on youtube and i've started answering less and less of answering less and less of the comments that are left me on my videos uh, the reason for this is if you are new to me i don't have a great internet connection and i don't get on very often um, so the connection that I have kind of relates me, uh, allows me to get on with my phone. And for some reason my phone won't let me answer any comments on videos. I'm not sure why, but that is the way it is. Um, but anything on Twitter I can answer straight away. So if you have any questions for me, anything you want to ask me, uh, come and follow me on Twitter and ask me through there. And I, I promise you I'll answer as soon as I possibly can or as soon as I'm online. So yeah, um, I shall leave a link in the description so you can uh, follow me on to that. Um, anyway guys, before I sort of uh, get too lost in my uh, self, um, uh, last thing I want to say about this, I hope you're enjoying this little series, if you if you really don't uh, think that this is a sort of worthwhile series me doing, uh, please leave in the comment section below. Um, also, I know coming up I have the uh, commentator, unknown commentator competition first round. I think it's coming out on Thursday, I think my competition will be. Um, I'll probably put, upload a video and leave a comment in the description below it, uh, linking you to it, but I'd really appreciate your support over on that competition. Anyway guys, uh, this video has come to a close, so uh, please leave a like and a comment, and I shall see you on the next video. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.